Good morning, you guys. So I am getting ready to make some coffee for me and Frank, and we're about to get our day started. Now, usually we like to get up before the kids get up and be able to enjoy ourselves a nice cup of coffee, but we weren't able to do that this morning. But usually we do like to get up before like the craziness of the day with the kids and just have like a coffee to ourselves. Like that's our time together. Well, at night, we when the kids go to bed, that's also our time together. Where we'll watch movies and stuff like that. But in the morning, before we get our day started, we like to be able to have a nice cup of coffee together and talk about our day and like the plans and everything and like, you know, how we want it to go, even though sometimes it doesn't always go how we want it to go, but you get what I'm saying. But this morning, I'm gonna make us some French press coffee. We've been really enjoying this. We don't always do this because it does take a little bit more time, but we found that it tastes the best. And we've been using CVS's new exclusive Gold Emlyn Fair Trade Certified Coffee. I grabbed two different bags. So we have a donut shop blend, but they also have this Colombian coffee as well. These are both medium roast. So I don't ever measure this. I'm just gonna go ahead and pour the coffee grounds right into my French press. Ah! Try not to spill it like I did. Like I said, it takes a little bit more time to do it in the French press, but I think it tastes better. And little tip, if you put this in the freezer, it will make your coffee grounds uh, stay fresh, if you guys didn't know that. And then I'm gonna take some really hot water that I heated up in my kettle, fill it up, show you guys without trying to burn myself. And then we're just gonna add the top on it, and then we're gonna let it steep for, I usually let it steep for five minutes, sometimes 10 minutes. Like I was telling you guys, CVS has a new exclusive Gold Emblem Fair Trade certified coffee, and they have a variety of delicious handcrafted coffees available in different flavors and forms. And I just wanted to say I love that these coffees are Fair Trade certified, so I can feel good knowing that these products empower farmers. And not only do they come in many great flavors, like I was showing you guys, the Colombian and the donut shop one, but they have French vanilla and French rose, but it's also available at an affordable price with larger available size options. They also have the little cup options as well that you guys can choose from, and you can only find these new Gold Emlyn Fair Trade certified coffees at CVS. And with so many of us living near a local CVS, we have one right down the street from us, so it is super convenient. So I think this is the third time trying the donut shop one, and I like this one, but I think my favorite is the French vanilla one, and I'm excited to try the Colombian one as well. Um, and like I said before, I love that it is Fair Trade coffee, so it's also doing good for our farmers and our environment. So if you guys wanna try the new Gold Emlyn Fair Trade certified coffee at CVS, you guys can just go to your local CVS. We're always popping in and getting other stuff anyway, so I just grab us a bag of coffee. And before you guys go, I want you guys to leave in the comments down below what has been your favorite moment over coffee. I have shared so many different moments over coffee. For me, it's having that time together with Frank where we can talk about our day, just have alone time, no kids, and be able just to have a good conversation over coffee. So I would love to hear from you guys as well. So we're gonna go ahead, get started with our day, and I just wanna say thank you again to CBS for sponsoring today. All right, you guys, so I am going to first tackle our bedroom. I don't even want to go downstairs yet because the downstairs is a complete mess. So I'm going to tackle one room at a time, which is so hard for me because I like to bounce around and that's probably what I'll end up doing. Full confessional right now, when I film my cleaning videos, is this on the right setting? Okay, I don't want to make sure because sometimes the focus is off. When I edit my cleaning videos, I put the footage together, if that makes sense. So most of the time when I'm cleaning, I'm all over the place. But what I'll do, let's say if I'm like in one bedroom and then I go somewhere else and then I'm in that bedroom again, I just take that clip and add it so it looks like I st so it looks like I move from room to room, but what I really do is I just organize all the clips that I have and then add it together so it looks like I got that room done. So if you guys ever see me cleaning and that and you see like I go in order it's not like that. I'm like constantly bouncing around. I'm like that with anything that I do. Like I cannot just do one thing. I have to like bounce around, but I'll eventually get it done, but I'm just not going to get each thing done if that makes sense. I have like constantly a hundred tabs open at all times, but I am gonna try to tackle this room first because I have laundry that I didn't put up before my trip. I have the suitcase, I don't even know what happened to, oh, no, those all those clothes are dirty, so actually I need to do laundry, so um, I can't put the suitcase up, I just need to put up all these clothes that I did a week ago. I got shoes on the bed, crap that we've just thrown over onto our dresser, just random stuff. I probably need to uh, wash our sheets, and then I do need to vacuum in here. Uh, Luna sleeps in here with us, so this carpet probably has a ton 
ton of hair. I'm going to show you guys a before and after of like our little vacuum and how much it fills up just in one room from her hair. It's crazy. And my closet. I need to tackle my closet. There's so many shoes that I need to put up. I have travel stuff, bathing suits. I have laundry to do. Frank's closet is pretty clean. And then I have a whole bunch of stuff that I need to clean up off the counters. Again, Frank's side is clean for the most part. Let me give you guys a little sneak peek. Hi, Harlow. Giving you guys a little sneak peek of the downstairs. We got a whole bunch of Play-Doh over there. Play-Doh on Play-Doh. Pizza boxes from last night. Rain boots. Fletcher's toys. Random toys. Pack of gummies. <laughs> Gotta put all these diapers up. Uh, Scarlett spent the night, a few nights while I was gone at um, Frank's parents' house, so I've gotta put away all of her clothes. So I don't have to do much in the girls' room except for put all of these clothes away. I need to probably vacuum all of the rooms. Unless you're sleeping, so I'm trying to be quiet. I gotta put away all of Nolan's clothes. Aria keeps her room kind of clean. She did just have a sleepover last night with her friend, but oh, look, she organized all her shoes. She's more organized with her shoes than I am. But Aria is at the age now where I don't really need to clean her room. She's old enough to take care of her room, so I am gonna have her come in here and clean up a few things, and I'll probably the only thing I'll do in here is vacuum. And then I actually cleaned this bathroom yesterday. So I cleaned the counters, the toilet, uh, the mirror, and I wiped off the stools. Actually, I need to wash all of their towels. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that now because they definitely need to be washed and I probably need to wash that rug too. Fletcher had an accident last night, so I need to wash this, or not this last night, this morning. I, I did like a quick wash and then I sprayed it with uh, some OxyClean. You guys are ever wondering how I get all the stains out of my kids' clothes. This is what I use, the OxyClean Max Force. Uh, so I sprayed that, I did a quick wash, so I need to probably wash this again with something because it's still a little stained. But I definitely need to do some towels, got some towels there. I try to keep the, I don't know if I've ever shown you guys this, this is kind of like our, my towel uh, bin. Since we all have our own clothes hamper, Frank and I and the kids, we keep all our clothes obviously in there. But I got this from Amazon to organize all the towels, so I put all the microfiber cloths in here because those have to be washed separately, um, like towels for the pool, hand towels, things like that go in here. And then all of our white towels, like our main bath towels, go over here. So I'll try to link this down below. I got it a long, long time ago. I'm sure they still have it or something similar, so I'll leave that in the description. So I was actually getting a lot of questions about those boots at the bottom, if you guys can see them with the white embroidered on them. I was getting so many questions about them on my Instagram. They are from Boot Barn. And you guys, I did not think I would be the type of girl to get cowboy boots. I have never, ever, ever had a, pa a pair, pa I can't talk, a pair of cowboy boots ever. And then we were going on a girl's trip to Nashville everybody's wearing cowboy boots we're gonna all wear cowboy boots so I finally just went ahead and got some and they're actually really cute and I really like them I was surprised and another thing they're really comfortable I see I was thinking like they're leather you know they're very sturdy they're not gonna be comfortable at all they are actually really really comfortable so if you guys want to get some cowboy boots go to boot barn we actually went to a boot barn in Nashville as well and they had so many cute ones to choose from I just didn't ever think I was gonna be the one to buy them or like them but I actually did and I feel like I need a vacation from my trip do you guys ever feel like that you go on a trip you go on a vacation and you need a trip or a vacation from that trip and actually we're gonna turn around and be packing all over again because me and Frank are going on a trip for our anniversary I think I've talked about this in a previous video I'm pretty sure I did but if you guys did not know this, me and Frank, or Frank and I, I should say, let's use proper grammar, Brittany. Uh, Frank and I, we eloped. So we, when we got married, we didn't tell anybody, anybody that we were getting married, not my family, not his family. We just did the thing, eloped, and we were married. So we never had a wedding, we never had a reception, and we never had a honeymoon, nothing. And we still do, we still do want to have a wedding. Quick side note, I think you guys told me in the last video, I need to go back and read the comments, that you liked the chit-chatting 
instead of explaining everything that I'm doing because you can kind of already get an idea of what I'm doing but I just like to just let you guys watch me clean and organize and put laundry away while I talk about stuff but like I was saying I still want to have a wedding it's always always been a dream of mine I think you know I've I've had a Pinterest board forever of I think I put it on secret now but <laughs> I've always had one where I've just had so many ideas so I definitely one day want to have a wedding you know for me personally I've always had the mindset like if you're gonna get married you know you don't need all of that stuff and I know a lot of people like to and I want to too but for me and Frank it was not important in the beginning so we just got married because that meant a lot to us and we said you know what we'll have a wedding later on we'll plan one later on so I was actually in the start of planning a wedding and kind of looking at venues and then COVID happened so that really set us back um, you know probably in the next year I'm gonna start the planning again but we want to go ahead and do something for that for not having a wedding and not having a honeymoon or anything like that so we planned a trip we're going very very soon and that's gonna be that for us because we were gonna do something last year but again COVID happened we didn't get to go on the trip that we wanted to or have a wedding or start planning something so that is gonna be like a gift to us so we're really really excited um, you guys will have to stay tuned and follow us on Instagram for that but I finally got all of my shoes organized actually as I was doing that I'm like Brittany you really need to go through your shoes and get some rid of these shoes but I I just love that's my one thing that I love to collect is shoes or well, clothes too I like to collect clothes but I can let go of clothes bef way before I can let go of shoes let me know if you guys are like that or let me know a certain thing that you guys like to hold on to shoes I don't know what it is about shoes but I love to hold on to them all right guys so here I am gonna show you the before I this is really dirty you can see it really needs to be cleaned out but it's completely empty so I'm about to vacuum everything I finally got everything well I was having some lunch right here so I need to still need to clean that off and then also dust the dresser and the two nightstands but this is washing currently. I actually need to wipe our mirror down too, but I got everything picked up in my closet. Everything is nice and organized and put away. All the shoes I showed you guys, all of that is put away. Frank's clothes are put away. I kind of rearranged some things in here to give them a little bit more space. And then I didn't film this because I wanted to do it really, really quickly, but I went ahead and organized my closet i have so much crap in here and i had to get rid of so much crap but i finally got everything organized i have these throughout the house everywhere i love them they come in handy especially for organizing stuff like i'll use like some of the kids stuff like pencils and markers and things like that but they're great for your toiletries so i have all my razor stuff tooth care nail i got some lotion deodorant all my perfume face mask so i got all of that organized and it feels feels so good i organized and got rid of some stuff in here as well i cleaned off everything on my vanity i just need to wipe that down um, i still need to put a few things of frank's stuff up but the next thing i definitely want to do is vacuum this carpet also really quickly i just wanted to say thank you guys so so much for the support on our last video last video we uploaded was announcing our new business simply etched where we are doing laser engraving we have a huge industrial professional grade laser in our garage and everything set up and we were we were so nervous about making that announcement just because we you never know like a big announcement like that you never know how it's going to be perceived or you know you know how it goes so we were really really nervous and we wanted to make sure we had everything lined up and you know we've even had some hiccups here and there but we just wanted to make sure we had every i just have to know fletcher he is so cute he just sits there and just watches me vacuum and just follows me around I, he's he's an angel baby he's so good i'm gonna take a quick break because there's more that i wanted to say about that but i see that the footage of all of luna's hair is coming up next All right, so this is after vacuuming just our bedroom, just one bedroom. You can see all of the dust and the dog hair. That is insane.
try number two. I got this. I'm gonna do it. Don't hit our baby. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm gonna get it. All right, this is gonna be the one. No. Nope. Should have jinxed me. Hey! Hey! Say hi. Say hi. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hi, buddy. Hi. Did you see that one? Yes. All right, so now talking, or what am I trying to say? Back to talking about Simply Edge. I just, I honestly cannot, or I shouldn't say me, we cannot thank you guys enough for the love and support. You know, we've started to see everybody getting their orders in. We busted our butts last week. Yeah, last week filling orders, had an overwhelming but good overwhelming amount of orders and just busting our butts trying to get that done for you guys. And I don't know, I just feel so so grateful for you guys and we have so many upcoming ideas we actually just ordered some beer can glasses which are super pop popular right now actually i didn't even know that until frank was like hey look at these glasses what do you think and i'm like uh, i like them and beer but then i saw that people use them for iced coffee too i was like okay you sold me you, you know how i feel about coffee i'm gonna have to like make some iced coffee and you can use it for your beer um but the ones that we have the option is for like ice water or iced coffee and water and beer and then we also have our mug option right now for hot coffee or hot tea hot chocolate but we cannot wait to add more products to simply edged all right so now i am going to put all of fletcher's clothes away but i wanted to show you guys some of these really cute pajamas that i got him off of amazon i got him three three packs and they're pretty inexpensive uh, it's a simple joy brand by carters but they have so many cute prints so they have a dog one this fun one right here there's a car one he's already worn some of these there's this one this rhino one uh let's see what else what else what else space one there was a fire truck one but i think that one is currently dirty but oh here's the other one and then a shark one so i'll leave a link down below if you guys want to check them out because pajamas can be kind of expensive oh there's this one too the stripe one and these are really really cute and like i said it came in a three pack i got three of them because fletcher's growing so fast he's actually already in 12 month pajamas so he's growing so fast i'm gonna have to buy him some new clothes already so i just wanted to show you guys that but i'm gonna go ahead and fold everything and put it away I think a majority of this cleaning video, cleaning and organizing video is all of my laundry. I had so much laundry to do. And to think that after all of the laundry that you guys saw, that's not even half of it. I didn't even get to do Aria and Nolan's laundry. Um, I think the girls had more laundry to do, but I had to put up a whole bunch of, it, it never ends. Endless, endless laundry. And you think after having five kids, I would like sign up for one of those laundry services. Like, you, have you guys seen those before where you put your laundry in a bag, somebody picks it up and washes it for you, pretty sure folds it for you and then drops it back off. I don't know how much they are, but it almost seems like they're worth the investment. I don't know. I guess the only thing that's holding me back is the fact that they would be looking at like, a, I don't know. I'm just like, I'm weirded out by like other people handling my kids' underwear, my underwear. You guys, let me know how you feel. I know a lot of people do use them and love them and they're super convenient. Like I said, the idea is amazing, but yeah, I haven't done that yet, but it's very, very tempting. I know but I wanted to mention this because it could be future content for this channel so Father's Day was just yesterday I was trying to think when Father's Day was it was yesterday and I got Frank a black stone griddle he has been eyeing those for ever now and talking about them and we'll be watching TikTok. Oh, the little Cajun house. I think that's her username on TikTok. TikTok. I'm like so excited I can't talk TikTok 
she has so many Blackstone recipes and every time her videos pop up on my For You page, I'm like showing Frank and he's like, oh man, I need one of those. So I finally got him one for Father's Day and he had to use it right away. We made some buffalo cheesesteaks, which were so, so good. I need to share that recipe with you guys. I don't think we have yet. But what I wanted to say, now that we've got it now, we were researching and like looking up new recipes to try with it. Let me know if you guys would like me to do a whole Blackstone recipe video showing you guys different ones that we try out on the Blackstone. Maybe I'll save that, uh, the cheesecake recipe for that video and then we can do a few other to include in that video, but we wanna do like a breakfast for dinner kind of video on it. There's so, I've seen so many recipes, like endless, endless recipes. So let me know if that's something that you guys would like to see and we can definitely do that. The only thing I, I did was I messed up and I did not order him a cover. I was for some reason not thinking that it didn't need a cover. So if you do order one from Blackstone or Blackstone, I got mine on Amazon, but if you do order a Blackstone for your husband or boyfriend or anybody, dad, make sure you get them a cover. Just, just make sure, just so you can protect it and it doesn't get messed up. Don't forget the cover. to document this really quick because I just finished cleaning. The only thing left that I did not get to was putting the sheets on the bed. I actually didn't even get to the downstairs yet because the majority of the mess and disaster was upstairs. And I feel like this video is gonna be already really long. So maybe it might do two parts. I don't know, we'll see. But um, the only thing I don't have, I need to put those bathing suits up too. I just have to document this because our upstairs is usually never, ever, ever this clean. <laughs> never a dull moment so i showed you guys my closet i showed you frank's closet i showed you guys the bathroom i wanted to wash the rugs too but i didn't get to doing that and then we go this way and the girls room is all nice and clean i just didn't make harlow's bed their room is never this clean actually the vacuum died in the middle of in like the previous clip about me vacuuming the rug so i'm gonna have to come back up here and vacuum like over there right here there's her room or their room i mean and then we have fletcher's room is all nice and clean Usually his room stays pretty clean and the only thing that's ever on the floor is his toys. And we have Nolan's room, his room, also another room that stays pretty clean because he's pretty much, he's he's a clean freak like me and he'll like always clean up his room. I don't even have to ask him to clean his room. He'll just go ahead and do it. There's only a few toys out, which is not a big deal. I'm not gonna go in Arya's room because she's in there right now. I don't want to disturb her. I still have laundry going. I just need to, um, our sheets, well, the comforter takes forever, forever to dry. So I'm taking it out a little bit to air dry. And then I have the sheets in there and then towels are in there. Laundry is constantly running. But it feels good to put up a majority of the clothes. I think the only clothes I need to do 
is Aria and Nolan does have a few more clothes, but all the other clothes are done and put away. That's another first. That's a rare moment that hardly ever happened. I have been cleaning for four hours, four or five hours now. So I'm not gonna even touch the downstairs besides dishes and vacuuming. That's the only thing that I need to do downstairs. Actually, Frank cleaned up the mess in the playroom or not the playroom, the living room and all the Play-Doh mess. So that was a huge help as well. But it's actually time to start getting the kids ready for bed. I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching this video. Again, don't forget to check out the Gold Emlyn Coffee from CVS. All that information will be down below. We've got some fussy kids downstairs. I'm gonna go. Love you guys and we'll see you in our next one. Bye. <laughs>